Hello, it's Brian here. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve and it's heading into Christmas Day right now. Um, today I'm going to do a little beer review and just talk about some stuff going on, Christmas, my Christmas going on, and, and maybe my Europe trip a little bit. Um, I'm going to drink this on camera, kind of review it. I saved one. Um, a Fat Squirrel New Glarus Brew, Wisconsin Brew. Um, saved one. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I just wanted to have one kind of sober and uh, do a review of it instead of just polish the six pack. Um, Ah, man, that smells good already. It's crazy. Let's see. It is an ale. Fat squirrel. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, it smells awesome. It smells like hazelnut, according to the label. Ah, yeah. It almost tastes like a box to me, but I don't think it is one. It smells really good and sweet. It probably smells better than it tastes, but it tastes really good as well. Ah. Yeah, this is a great one. I love it. I don't think I liked it at first, but it's great. Um... Well, I'm going to talk about my trip to Europe right now. Um, I went to Europe. I went to Germany and Belgium specifically to visit a friend and to travel with him. And um, it was mostly a touristy trip. I took a lot of photos. He took a lot of photos. We drank a lot of beer. We walked around cities a lot and we took trains and um, lots of cities, a little bit of r rural areas when we rented a car um, to drive to southern Belgium. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm losing what, what it's called right now, Wallonia, I think. Um, the more French part. And um, let's see, and it maybe it was too much movement and probably not enough time. The trip was maybe just not long enough, but it was a good start to international travel. I'd probably like to connect more in a human way with, instead of being all anxious about talking to people in a different language and uh, being shy about it, but there's definitely warm moments as well. But most of the time I was just, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't in the best mindset. And, but I still had a good time, saw a lot of cool things. Really enjoyed Antwerp probably the most. Um, got to hear German and French and maybe Flemish. Couldn't recognize it too well if I did hear it. Um, couldn't identify it as that. In contrast to hearing French or German, you can tell the difference between that, well I could. Um, but I don't know what the next trip will be, but it's an interesting thing to think about. And I did have a good time. I did love Belgium and Germany and, but I still felt kind of anxious and I wish I could connect more, I guess. I did take photos. Like I said, this is my stupid photo album with, uh, Belgium chocolates as the cover photo for some reason. Um, I guess I'll just show off a random thing. Yeah, we went to a cave. That's one thing we did. So we got to see some cool, weird rock formations that developed in sedimentary rock through water and that kind of thing over a lot of time. And of course, there's a beer here and a restaurant menu in German. So that's just a little sample there of some photos I took. I uh, didn't want to go into that for too long, but I just wanted to mention it, talk about it. 
and I did make a video while I was on that trip asking my friend about his choice records, so that that happened on the trip. <laughs> but anyways, um, I've been pretty cynical and pessimistic about Christmas, just wanting, wanting it to end in my line of work. Um, and I, I was very cynical and at times I drank a lot, but um, I also watched the horror Christmas movie, Krampus. And uh, it's a good Christmas horror movie with the family and extended family not getting along. And there's also German elements to it as well with the grandmother and and the son and the grandson. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, this has also led to me celebrating or talking about Festivus a little bit um, and uh, the Seinfeld phenomena, um, which is basically the inverse of Christmas. And uh, things are just going so bad and where I work and other places that I'm ending a relationship and friendship with a coworker. And it was just been so hard during the holidays that it just became too much. Uh, I got really upset and um, said some fighting words, some bitter words and it's over. And um, still have to interact with them, but it's um, this is just going to be strictly business. I'm putting up boundaries, and um, it might seem stupid. Maybe I'm take seems like I'm taking it too seriously, but we did things together at times, and now that's not going to happen for sure. And um, it just really upsets me. And um, there's just too much of the personal life, and I don't like that at work. I don't like that while I'm on the clock, and I don't want to hear about it. And it just rubs me the wrong way and also their personality and disposition just really upsets me at times and then occasionally they do disrespect me directly so that is why I'm ending a friendship relationship it's too bad but it happens and I'm letting it go I'm not I've been holding it in for years years and years and years so I mean, this has been a long time coming, but it's finally, I mean, we started hanging out a little bit, but, but that's, that's not going to happen anymore. Um, no more, uh, favors on my part as well. Um, it's, it's just something that happens occasionally and you have to step up for yourself and if people are bothering you that much, you just have to end the relationship. And I know that seems like kind of the opposite of Christmas and all that, but that's kind of what Christmas has brought out to me in, in this year. And um, I want to end this on a happy note. I don't think Christmas is miserable or it's meaningless. It's just consumerism. I think there's good message in it. But um, for me right now, it's just not a good time. And... Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas. And I can be warm to people. I, It's not that I'm totally cold or anything. It's just at times I'm cold about it and I'm not, I'm, I'm through with lying about it and, excuse me, giving gifts as well. I'm not doing that very much this year. So cheers. Thank you.